I'll show you how to operate this thing so you can keep yourself busy during the uh, quarantine. All right, let's do it. Okay, so. Okay, what's this for? What do I do with this thing? That's your reference measuring gauge. So you can use this to set your depth of cuts that you're going to do. So basically, if you were to have it set right now, which is at the very top of the log, and you want to do an inch cut, well, what you do is, let me just get in here, is you'd set this line up, and it's already at an inch mark right there. So basically, all we would need to do is make our adjustment right here. We'll unlock it. And as we turn the handle, you can see it's changing our position on there. So if I go right down to the next one, I've dropped my blade an inch. And I know that I'm making an inch deep of a cut now because I went from the one to the one. Which is so once you're happy with where you have it, you can lock your handle in like that and you know it's going to stay that depth the whole cut. Uh, take a quick look and make sure that our blade's not going to run into any of our log dogs here. So, so what's the, the log dog? So the log dogs are the two silver handles that are holding the log up against the log stops on this side. So let's go right up to them. So this is the lock dock. The lock right. dock. Yeah, and this is what we want to make sure is not going to run into the blade here. So. So how come it's so far down when the small blade's going to be right here? Well, well, it's just a good idea to have it nice and low down because if you're going to do a couple cuts, you don't need to adjust this every time. Uh, okay. We've already got our water reservoir running here at the right. Um, okay, and what's the yeah. water for? So the water keeps a little bit of lubrication for cutting and takes a little bit of the heat away from the metal blade as well as it's cutting. On a winter time, you can use things like washer fluid or vegetable oil and water. Um, and then in the nice uh, summer months, you can just use regular water. And what's that doing? This actually locks the carriage onto the post, which is essentially what that lock does. But this just locks it physically at both sides, so there's no deflection in the blade, no matter what. So we can go ahead, fire it up, and make our other cut. Okay, how do I start it? Okay, so you'll just turn the key to start, and it should just stay running. Just, yeah, push it all the way forward and it'll stay there. I start off real slow until it just gets into the wood, and then I start going up to just a regular pace after it's in there. Yep, there you go. 